A pleasant greetings to all. In this video, I am going to explain resistance reduction using star to delta and delta to star conversion technique. Problem number one. Find the delta for this equivalent star connection. What is the step number one? I am going to draw delta around this star. Next, I am going to put the values Rk, Rp, then Rc. Find out Rk. What is Rk? Which resistance is opposite to the top Rk? That is 41. Write this in the denominator. Numerator how to write? Multiply 10 into 40 plus 40 into 20 plus 20 into 10. What is the value? 400 plus 800 plus 200 divided by 40. That is 1400 divided by 40. The answer is 7035. R A equal to 35 ohm. Next find out R B. Numerator there is no change 1400. Denominator what is the resistance opposite to this R B? That is 20 ohm. The answer is 70 ohm. R B equal to 70 ohm. And next find out. RC. RC also, there is no change in the numerator 1400. Denominator is 10. That is equal to 140 ohm. RC equal to 140 ohm. Now, the star is converted into equivalent delta. Now, I am going to draw the delta collector network and put the values. RA equal to 35 ohm, RP equal to 70 ohm, RC equal to 140 ohm. Next problem, find RAB for the network given below. All the resistance are same as 30 ohm. This network consists of star and delta connected combinations. Okay, what is the step number one? The step number one is first find out the inner delta, the first delta into equivalent star connection. Okay, inside the delta, I am going to draw the star network. This is the step number one. See here, all the resistance are 30. In any one resistance, I am going to find out that the same as the remaining resistance. How to find out RA? The resistance connected, the side of RA is 30 into 30. And what is the total resistance in the delta? 30 plus 30 plus 30 that is 900 divided by 90 the value equal to 10 ohm so r a equal to 10 ohm then this resistance also 10 ohm because all the resistances are equal i am going to redraw this diagram a now i am going to draw the star connection here and here 30 ohm 30 here 30 then 30 here yeah, B 10 ohm 10 10 30 30, 30 ohm, 30 and 30 ohm. What is the next step? 
I am going to reduce the series combination of 30 and 30. That is equal to what? 60 ohm. Now this 60 ohm is connected in parallel combination with the 30 ohm. Okay. So what is the answer? 60 ohm in parallel combination with 30 ohm. That is equal to 60 in the 30 divided by 60 plus 30. That is 1800 divided by 90. 20 ohm. So instead of this, the total combination is removed and I am going to put 20 ohm. This is the step number 2. Now I am going to redraw this network again. 10 here 10 now this is equal to 20 and again 30 here 30 and this one is 30 A B put the resistance values 10 10 10 20 here 30 30 and 30. I am going to draw one star inside this delta. What is the answer? Already I got the answer. That is 10. All are 10. Next step number 3. I am going to redraw the circuit again. 10. 10. This 10. And 20. Here it is connected to 10. This is 10. And here 10P. Now I am going to reduce this combination, the center combination only. I am going to reduce this combination. See here, these two 10s are connected in series. 10 plus 10 equal to 20 ohm and see 10, 20 and 10. These three are connected in series. That is 10, 20 and 10. That is 40 ohm connected in series. Now this 40 and 20 are connected in parallel. Okay. How to find out 40 into 20 divided by 40 plus 20. That is equal to 800 divided by 60. That is 40 by 3. That is 13.33 ohm. Now, after sum up all the values here 10 ohm, the center one is 13.33 and again we are having 10 ohm. So summation of these three which give the equivalent resistance or RAB. 10 plus 10, 13.33 plus 10. What is the answer? That is 33.33. .33. Next problem, find RAB for this network given below. First of all, I am going to draw the inner star connection. And this is the delta number 1, this delta number 2. So first delta is converted into equivalent star. So I am going to draw equivalent star inside the delta connection. Okay, this is the equivalent star inside the delta connection. Now I am going to find out the values Ra, Rp and this is Rc. How to find out Ra? Ra equal to multiply both the resistance connected to Ra. 30 into 60 divided by summation of all the values 30 plus 60 plus 10. So what is the value? 
1800 divided by 100. The value equal to 18 ohm. So put 18 here and then find out RB. RB equal to the resistance connected to RB is 30 into 10 divided by 30 plus 60 plus 10. That is equal to 300 divided by 100. 3 ohm. And next RC. RC equal to 60 into 10 divided by 30 plus 60 plus 10. That is 600 divided by 100. That is equal to 6 ohm. I am going to redraw the network again. RA, RB, then RC, then 40, 50, next 80, AB, 20, 18, what is RB? 3. RC is 6 and here 40 and 50 then 80. See here the, the 3 and 40 both are connected in series. So net is 43. 6 and 50 are connected in series. Net is 656. 43 and 56 are connected in parallel. So 43 into 56 divided by 43 plus 56. I have to find out using the calculator. So the value is 43 into 56 divided by 43 plus 56. That is equal to 24.32 ohm. See 20 and 18 are connected in series and 24.32 also connected in series with this combination, then 80 are connected in series. Or AB equal to 20 plus 18 plus 24.32 plus 80. Summation of all the values 80 plus 20, 100, 118, 118 plus 24, that is 142.32. This is the answer for this problem. Next problem, find the equivalent resistance or AB. Here, first I am converting the star into equivalent delta. So this is the first conversion. Okay, after converting this, I am going to solve this. Okay, here, RA, this is RB and this one is RC. How to find out RA? RA equal to, what is the resistance opposite to RA? That is 2. And here in the denominator, 5 into 2 plus 2 into 20 plus 20 into 5. Okay, what is the answer? 10 plus 40 plus 100 divided by 2. That is 150 divided by 2, 75. That is RA. And next find out RB. RB equal to what? The numerator, there is no change, 150. Denominator, the val resistance opposite to RB, that is 20 ohm. So 7.5 ohm, that is RB. And next find out RC. RC is what is the resistance opposite to RC that is 5 ohm. In the numerator 150 that is 3 ohm. 150 here 5. Sorry 30. Okay here 30 ohm. Now I am going to redraw the circuit diagram again. So then step number 2. Draw the simplified circuit diagram. A. Here, put the resistance delta and 3 ohm B. 
Here we are having the shorted connection 75 ohm, 7.5 ohm, and 30 ohm, 3 ohm. See, there is no effect on the 75 ohm resistance here. There is no current flowing through this resistance. This is the shorter terminal connected across. So, all the current is flowing through the shorter terminal or current always flowing through a low resistance path. Find out the answer REB. So, it is REB. All the resistances are connected in parallel now. Okay. So, REB equal to 1 divided by 1 by 7.5 plus 1 by 30 plus 1 by 3. Find out the value 1 by 7.5 inverse plus 30 inverse plus 3 inverse. That is equal to 0 0.5. What is REB? REB equal to 2 ohm. That is the correct answer. Thank you. Have a nice day. If you